So in the last two episodes, we talked about how to style using CSS. And in this video, we're gonna talk a bit about something that I think I did mention in the previous episode, which is something called a reset style sheet. Now, essentially what a reset style sheet is, is something that goes in and fixes a lot of issues that may come when you try to do CSS styling. So to give an example about what I mean when I say issues, I went ahead and created a header container inside my HTML. I gave it a class name, and then I simply went in and styled it. I just gave it a width of 100%, meaning that it goes all the way from left to right inside the browser. And I also gave it a small height and a background color. So basically what we should expect to see inside the browser right now is a container that goes all the way to the border of our browser to the other side of the browser. But if I actually go in and check out what we have inside the browser, you can actually see we have this weird tiny little gap here. Like there's, it's, it's kind of like there's a margin going around the box which is actually exactly what is happening. So whenever it comes to browsers, all the different types of browsers we have out there, they have some default styling already applied to different elements inside your website. And this is something that can mess with our website design because if I design something specific inside Chrome, and then try to view it inside Edge or Firefox or any other kind of browser, then it can actually mess up our design. So how do we make a website that looks the same inside all browsers so we don't have this default styling applied to our CSS inside our website? Well, the solution to that is what we call a reset style sheet. And essentially what that does is that it goes in and resets all that weird styling that we have inside the different browsers so that it's the same inside all the browsers and then we start customizing our CSS after we reset everything. So the basic way to do this is to go inside your HTML and right before your own CSS styling, you add another CSS file that simply goes in and resets everything. And there is a couple of different style sheets that you can use. Let's actually go ahead and create our CSS reset file first. So what I'll do is I'll go inside my CSS folder inside my website, and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file. I'm gonna call this one reset.css. And this particular file here is a file where we're gonna copy paste a bunch of reset styling from a website that we found somewhere on the internet, put it inside here, and then we're gonna to link to it before our own CSS inside our head tag. But now before we start copying any sort of reset styling from inside a website that we found on the internet, I want to mention that we have three really popular ones that people tend to use when it comes to adding reset styling. One is called Mayo Web, another one is called Normalize.css, and the last one is called the new CSS reset. I will go ahead and leave a link in the description for all the three ones that I just mentioned so you can check them out if you want to. But the one we're going to use is going to be the one called the new CSS reset. And as you can see, we have it right here. This is from CSSTricks.com. This is a very popular website when it comes to doing CSS things inside your websites. And essentially we can just go down and copy all the CSS reset that they have inside this uh, little black box here. So I'm just gonna copy it, go back inside my reset file, paste everything in. And then you can see we have all this default styling. So after pasting this in, we can actually go ahead and link to this file inside our HTML. Make sure you do it as the first style sheet that pops up inside your head tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and link to my reset.css. And then going back inside my browser, I can actually go ahead, refresh the browser. And as you can see, everything has been reset. We don't have this weird spacing going around our header, we can just go ahead and have it fit all the way to the left and right and to the top. Everything looks the way that we want it to and there's nothing going in and actually disturbing our own customized CSS. So having a reset style sheet in this sort of way is actually gonna make sure that everything has been, been reset. So it's ready for you to go in and actually make changes. So with that, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about in this video here, just how to create a reset style sheet. This is something we will have inside our project in the future. So keep this inside your folder keep it linked inside your header here. And with that, we have a pretty short video here. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.